Everyone is always making you graph linear equations in Algebra 1, and they insist that the equation has to be in slope-intercept form first. They lied. I'm going to show you how to graph a linear equation in standard form by using x and y intercepts. My name is Ms. Miller, and I'm going to take you through every step. You already learned what an x and y intercept is. An x intercept is where the graph crosses the x axis, and the y intercept is where the graph crosses the y axis. Easy stuff. But did you notice that a coordinate point on the x axis has a y value of 0? And the coordinate point on the y axis is the opposite. Its x value is 0. This is always true, thankfully. Now let's calculate these intercepts. Let's start with an equation in standard form ax plus by equals c. Remember, every x intercept has a y value of 0, and every y intercept has an x value of 0. I made a chart to stay organized. For the x-intercept, I replaced y with 0 and solve for x. Anything times 0 cancels out, so x equals 4. For the y-intercept on the right side, I replace x with 0 and then divide by 2 on both sides, so y equals 2. Almost done. Now it's time to graph it. This is the fun part. If your answers are x equals 4 and y equals 2, then the graph crosses the x-axis at 4, plot that point, and the graph crosses the y-axis at 2. Plot that point too. Don't let your teachers play with you. You only need two points to graph a linear equation. Connect the points, get an A in algebra, and life is good. You ready for a trickier one? The kind an evil teacher would probably put on a test? Here we have another equation in standard form. To find your x-intercept, replace y with 0. 0 times 4 cancels out. Then solve for x by dividing by 3 on both sides. x equals 16 thirds. If you make this a proper fraction, x equals 5 and 1 thirds. So the graph crosses the x-axis at 5 and 1 third. To calculate the y-intercept, replace x with 0. 0 times 3 cancels out. Then solve for y by dividing by 4 on both sides. 16 divided by 4 simplifies to 4. Since y equals 4, this means the graph crosses the y-axis at 4. Plot these two points on your graph, and you're done. Now it's your turn. Find the x and y-intercept of the equation of a line. Pause the video until you're done. Check your work and fix any mistakes you may have made. Your graph would cross the x-axis at 4 and the y-axis at 2. You should be feeling better at this point. Now you're ready to keep practicing on your own. If you want to remember the most important information about graphing linear equations using intercepts, pause the video and add this to your notes. If you want more videos about math, check out my YouTube channel. Leave a comment if you still have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.